Hey friends, I want to talk to you about God. I used to think that God was boring. I used to be oblivious to the whole idea of God. I used to be indifferent because I used to think that God is some sort of stone, mute, dead, a piece of stone, maybe a painting of some sort. But I never experienced God personally. I never had any kind of experience. In fact, I used to blame God. I used to blame Him that maybe my life wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. I used to blame Him that I didn't get everything that I wanted to get in life. So, on one hand I was indifferent and oblivious to God. On another hand, I was angry with God. I was angry because I thought that He doesn't care. I used to think that He is in heaven somewhere looking at me, thinking I'm just uh, like an ant, not significant not important in any kind of way but there came a time that I was in such a place where I think I've I've come to a place where all of my ideas about life were not leading to anything useful I was tired of parties I was tired of shopping I was tired of the same old, same old thing over and over again. And I was feeling empty. You know, I got to a place where I had a lot of things that many people dream about. I had a comfortable life. Comfortable life. I lived in Australia. I used to go to a coral reef on holidays. I used to love shopping, buying expensive clothes. I used to love partying. But you know what? I came to a place where I thought, gee, is this all there is? Is this all there is? Because the shopping became boring. How many pairs of shoes can you have? And I felt really empty in my heart, empty. You know, I felt like another party wasn't going to make me happy. Another boyfriend wasn't going to make me happy. I didn't know what the problem was. I thought maybe I'm just depressed. Maybe if I take some antidepressants, then everything will be okay. And I went on antidepressants in order to... in order to feel a little bit better, to feel like everything is okay. But underneath, it wasn't okay. And I met some people, and they told me about Jesus Christ. And I laughed at them. I thought Jesus is some Catholic deity. Jesus is traditional and boring, and I used to think he was a Catholic thing. And I saw a lot of hypocrisy in, in Catholic Church. As a child, I remember looking at the hypocrisy of old ladies who would sit there and be really religious and gossip the next day. However, I felt such emptiness in my heart. I said to God, I said, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you exist. But if you exist, I want to meet you. Because I don't know if in what form you are in. I don't know if you are Buddha or Muhammad or Maria. I don't know. So I want to know the truth. So I wasn't looking for Jesus, but I was looking for the truth, for the truth. I was looking for the truth and I was looking for a solution to my emptiness to the void in my heart. I was looking for a solution, for a solution to meaningless, 
same old everyday life to partying, shopping. Because how many parties can you have? After a while, after a while it gets boring and dull. And then something happened. Then I had a personal meeting. I met him personally. He's alive. He's real. Jesus Christ is real. I met him personally. I saw him just like I'm looking at you now. I saw him. He's real. He's alive. And that meeting was the most beautiful meeting in my entire life. It changed my whole life. It transformed my heart. It was a meeting with love. It was a meeting with beauty. It was a meeting with excellence. It was the meeting with goodness of God. I was flooded with the goodness of God. I knew that Jesus is real. I knew that he is God. I knew that I was separated from him my whole life. And I knew that he is everything I ever longed for. Everything I ever wanted. Everything that I, I dreamed about. He's all of those things. Jesus is everything everyone dreams about. You know, that dream that you have in your heart, that dream of goodness, of beauty, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. He's that beauty and that goodness. You will not find it in this world. You will not find it in another relationship. You will not find it in a shopping mall. You will not find it in drugs or alcohol. You will not find it in going out and partying. You will not find it anywhere because it can only be found through personal encounter with Jesus Christ. Friends, the gospel is very simple. If you believe with your heart, if you open your heart, if you believe that he is real, he is alive, he is real. If you believe and if you declare him your Lord, he will come and you will be saved and you will meet him. He is just a prayer away from you. A new resurrected life, transformed life, eternal life is just a prayer away from you. Jesus is right here, right now on this place. He is right here, right now. He's already spoken to you. He's speaking to you right now through my words. The decision is yours. He is here. And he wants for you to be saved. He wants for you to be resurrected. He wants for you to have a new life. He is here. He is alive. He's already done everything for you. He's died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He is alive. And the decision is yours. The decision is yours. If you call on the name of the Lord, if you call out on the name of Jesus Christ, He will come and you will be saved, my friend. Amen.